doing a B B 1K celebration video, which was requested to be a Q&A. I put up um, a community post asking what you guys would like to see for our 1K celebration, and something like 46% of you said a Q&A. Um, I didn't get a ton of questions in all honesty. I waited like two weeks, maybe even three, before doing this video. We are now well over 1,200 subscribers. Super exciting. I am so stoked to have every single one of you as part of this channel. Um, I've brought the hubs with me to help me celebrate. We also brought champagne. I'm not gonna lie, one of the, um, one of the options was a champagne toast. And one of you awesome viewers out there was like, why don't you just do a QA with a champagne toast? And I'm like, yes, you, I'm drinking to you. <laughs> Great idea, I love it. So we are going to pop this bubbly get to drinking and he is going to ask me these questions. I am going to say a little toast to each and every one of you guys because without you, I wouldn't be drinking this. And I probably shouldn't be because it's really late at night and I have to, you know what, it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, the, um, the real deal is thank you guys so much um, for subscribing for legitimately listening to me babble and do weird things while whispering. And I just hope that it relaxes you and you feel like you're safe every time that you watch and um, yeah, that you guys keep coming back for more. So we're gonna go ahead and get this popped and bored. And then he's gonna ask me the few questions that I do have. I'm not super prepared for the question, so if I stumble a little, you'll have to forgive me, and it's just, I'm just gonna go with whatever's on the top of my head as best I can. Oh, we got our little glasses here. Love 
watching them. And I think it's because with trigger videos, like, not everything works for me, right? So, like, um, and I can only watch so much of it before I'm like, yeah, cut. <laughs> I don't want to listen to somebody like squishing slime for 20 minutes straight. It's just not my bit. But like, um, yeah, I think it's trigger videos. I love gathering things that I'm like, oh, this makes a good sound. Oh, this makes a good sound. And like, oh, people will love this. And thinking that I can come up with great sounds. But like, I don't always love watching them because they get a little like, much and sometimes I don't always love the triggers so I'm like skip what's the next one skip I don't like that one yep skip you know so yeah I also on the flip love watching role plays but hate filming them <laughs> because I feel like I suck at acting hey question on down I'm sure there's others, but that's the first one that comes to mind. I also have legitimately never watched... Someone's dog is barking. Sorry about that, guys. If you can hear it. I've also never watched a breath-holding video. So I don't know if I'd like that or not. And I do a lot of those. And I enjoy doing them, except for the fact that lately I can't hold my breath for shit. <sighs> your zodiac sign and what is your go-to video to watch here's some more video okay so first i want to give a shout out to the viewer that guessed that i am a libra because i am a libra those scales those scales babes that's right um yes i am a libra and uh my abs is a pisces video. I love a makeup ASMR. Like, love, love, love it. I love makeup, like, like sounds, like, I just love it. I love anything makeup. Um, what else? Bob Ross stuff. I love Bob Ross. I also love cooking. Like, cooking one. But there's so few and far between, you can't find a ton of them. At least I haven't been able to. And like, I love a really good whisper ramble with like super crisp, crisp, um, like, what's the word I'm looking for? I'd say audio, but it's like, it's just the way people talk, you know? A good voice, man, does everything. What else? I also like, um, oh, love, 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 like without a doubt, measuring videos. I love a good measuring video. Like, I legitimately wait every Wednesday for Be Kind ASMR to post a measuring video because it just makes me so happy. <laughs> it does something for my soul. But yeah, those whisper rambles mostly from Linda <laughs> um, and anything makeup I love a makeup video and there's just so many like honestly I have little things from specific ASM artists that I love to watch and it's it's what I look for what was that? something ghosts alright what's okay. next? When and how did you discover ASMR? And what is your favorite trigger? Okay, so it was 2017. I had just been diagnosed with MS and um, found out that I had Bell's palsy. So this side of my face was paralyzed. It was quite obvious to everyone that I knew that I was super stressed, like, out of my mind, obviously, and um, I needed to relax. Um, a couple of my co-workers um, one day came into my office at work and said, hey, have you ever
whatever, you just need to chill out. Like, have you ever watched ASMR? Like, do you watch ASMR? And I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> no. What is it? So they tried to explain it to me, and I was so like, what? It was just weird to think about. And I think the first ASMR artist I ever watched was Gentle Whispers. And then GB. I found GB on my own, and she was my go-to. God, I loved GB for so long, so, so long. And then I kind of fell off watching all of GB stuff and started watching ASMR Planet, and that was it. I was hooked on Sophie. And then I just kept branching out from there, and that's like all I watch now. Like, hello YouTube, that's all I watch is ASMR. My feed is all ASMR artists, and I love it. Um, my favorite triggers are measuring makeup. Um, I love mouth sounds, I do, and I know most people hate them, but I actually like them. I think everything is like an acquired listen for me. Um, I used to hate smacking sounds, like gum sounds. I used to hate all of it, and now I love it. Um, I used to love, like, dabbing with nails, and now I can't stand it. It's funny, like, my preferences change with time, you know? I never used to like skincare videos, now I love watching those. And I used to love role plays, and now I don't really watch a lot of those. Now I'm just like, give me a good old fashioned ASMR, like somebody whispering and I'm happy. I can go to sleep. But yeah. I love the creativity of like Josie B. I like a good reading one. If somebody wants to read to me, I'm okay with that too. From a good book. But I hate when it's a good book because then I get hooked and I'm like, now I gotta go buy it. I didn't need any help in that. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Most favorite and least favorite book you've read this year? Oh God! And also, what is your favorite meal? Oh shoot! That's a tough one. Okay, so worst book I've read this year. I DNF'd a book from Sarah Shepard. She's also the author of uh, the Pretty Little Liars series. I think I told you about this one, huh? Um, the Elena's. Yeah. Yeah, I DNF'd that bad boy. It sucked, but I just couldn't get into it, man. And I keep thinking I might go back to it because I have a tendency to, um, like to torture myself and just see if I still ate something. So I might go back, but God, it was just so, like, dreary and dramatic and, like, over, like... It was just, it sucked. I wasn't happy with it. It was just kind of like, the girl was so unrelatable. Like she was super freaking morbid and like creepy. Like, I guess it works for people who like really like, like Halloween and dark shit. And it does just not me. Like, I like stuff that's uplifting and makes me happy, you know? So, so far. I am reading Book Lovers from Emily Henry. This was a wreck from um, Haley Jean ASMR. And Be Kind also like double wrecked it. And I'm freaking loving it. I'm almost done. Like I have maybe like that much left. Um, and I'm just enjoying the shit out of it. And I do not love contemporary romance, but wow, this book. I'm hooked, and I love it, and I'm stoked about it. Oh, and y'all, don't judge me, but I loved um, Prince Henry's book. <laughs> Prince Henry. <laughs> Can we cut that? We're going to have to cut that. Oh, that needs to stay. No. <laughs> no, that makes me sound stupid. I also loved Prince Harry's book. Henry. Harry. Are you sure? Not all the time. Depends on how much I've drink, been drinking. Oh, you're done already. You better report. But yeah, I liked Prince Harry's book, honestly. I don't even care. I don't care what anybody says. I love their little story. Even if it's not true, it's cute. And I think it's true. I just like British people. Even though they don't always like me. The 
regardless of whether or not we are always there. I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. But that's whatever. We haven't really talked about it too much, so. We'll see. What? We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Last one. Okay. What are three random facts about you that we don't already know or couldn't tell by looking at you? Um. Um. You know what? I got this. I once had a goldfish <laughs> named, can you remember? No. You don't? Peepity, Copperpot, Snucklefoot, the third. A goldfish. <laughs> Say that three times fast. I shouldn't be surprised. Peepity, Copperpot, Snucklefoot, the third. You know why he's not surprised? It's because we have a dog named Naba Nagasaki Alapanikinto. Say that. <laughs> um, let's see, I have had over 40 piercings in my lifetime. Over 40. And nowhere like that couldn't be seen publicly. Try to figure that one out. And um, let's see. What else? Oh. I'm naturally a redhead. Can't tell that by looking at me, right? Yeah. So, that's that. That's a wrap, folks. That's all my questions. That's all everyone asked. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, getting to know me just a little bit more. Again, it goes back to thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, for always coming back to have a listen, um, for your comments, for your kindness. It's such a nice getaway, like on the days that like, I just need to step away from my life and, you know, kind of do something that I really enjoy, which is filming. I have a great time with it. I have a great time hanging out with you guys, so thank you. Thank you, thank you for being my getaway. I hope that I am also yours. Um, and here's to coming up on 2000. We're not anywhere near it, but we're gonna get there, guys. We're just gonna keep hitting milestones, and I'm so stoked for it. And I hope that you guys are gonna continue to come along for the ride. I love you guys to bits. Please, please, please continue to comment, continue to ask for what you wanna see, um, and I will 